and basically let me tell you what it is first and then and why i think it's ne it's neglected i do think it's the most important system in the body that you never hear about and the one that's the most neglected for people telling you first of all why what it is and why it's important but then once they tell you that they're left hanging with well what can i do about that right um so the lymphatic system is part of your immune system. It's a big part of your immune system, but it's also a huge part, which many people forget, of your cardiovascular system, which is the health of your heart and your veins and your arteries. And, and it always ultimately relates back to gut health because the, the gut is a huge player in your immune system. And they think 70 to 80 percent of your immune system with strength uh, strength resides in the gut, which is massive, right? And then there's no accident that Mother Nature put most of your lymph in your gut. She's she's pretty smart like that, <laughs> right? And so its primary job is to kill things, like stuff that you don't want inside of your body that can make you sick. The lymphatic system job is to kill it, diminish it, and help you get rid of it, to get it out. So it kills things like toxins of, of all different types, um, especially from the outside world, man-made as well, but also ones that get made inside of your body. Because when, when your own cells die, which they're supposed to do every day, because you're supposed to make new ones that work, they, they can become toxic that's called metabolic cellular waste. And if you don't get that out, the waste stays inside and you start to slowly decay. And then you have bacteria that come on in. You have viruses as well. Not, you know, so I, I have to be careful with the word virus okay. these days because people freak out at that. But, you know, that's, there's trillions of those guys around. But bacteria, viruses, uh, parasites, uh, fungus, cancer cells as well. It, it kills cancer cells every day. So you don't mm -hmm. actually physically end up getting a diagnosis of cancer. So it's, it's a big part of that. And it cleanses the system and all of your cells live in this fluid filled nutrient rich environment. And that lymphatic system is supposed to keep that fluid nice and, and clean and you know, just like a fish tank or a swimming pool that, you know, has a purification filter system. So you want to swim in it and so fish can live in it. And it's the same thing with your, their cells of your body. It is, in my opinion, the most critical system for survival, but also living at our optimal capacity. Because if the, if the system immediately stopped working, you'd be dead in about 24 hours. That's how powerful it is. But wow. it, it doesn't just stop working, but what it does is it slowly begins to stop working as well as it should. And then that's when you start to get these slow onset things of just feeling yucky and terrible and tired and fatigued. And you get all these different diagnosis label names that develop over the course of a lifetime, and you, you wonder why you all of a sudden one day are a mess, <laughs> and then, you know, yesterday you didn't think you were that much of a mess. It's that slow onset. And for me, when I was really, really sick and got the autoimmune disease, and I was really sick and deteriorating from the traditional medical approach, which, you know, they weren't trying to kill me, but they were doing a pretty good job of it with with how they were thinking uh not once not a single moment did anyone ever mention lymphatic system to me at all and i'll be honest with you i i'm in healthcare. i didn't even think about it right so what does that tell you like what are the chances that an average person who is sick is going to hear anything about it you, you probably won't and that's why it's my calling, honestly, right now. It's, it's my mission in life to change that every moment that I can. Mm. So you mentioned sort of, I guess, some of the potential 
symptoms or way you may feel if there are issues with the lymphatic system. Are there any sort of more common or typical symptoms or is it kind of a bit messy if we if we take that approach to it? Well, yes and no. I mean, I, I kind of joke when I teach about the lymphatic system is that people say, how do you know you have a problem with one? And I'm like, well, you're alive. That's how you know you got a problem with one because it's, <laughs> It's just been getting a beating your whole life and you've probably never intentionally taken care of it. We'll, we'll get into ways that you can do that later. But uh, yeah, you, you can honestly have any symptom that you want to pick out of a book related to the lymphatic system because symptoms are just your body telling you something's up, right? And then, then we, we slap a, a label on the symptom. But, but the symptom is usually your own body's way of trying to fight something in the first place. So symptoms in and of themselves don't necessarily mean that, that it's the disease that's causing the symptom. It's the body trying to recover and fight that disease that you have. And then the symptom is just part of that. But probably the most common that you'll see is a lot of tiredness, uh, fatigue, uh, lethargy, brain fog, uh, swelling in the body, uh, swelling around joints, inability to lose weight, a lot of tightness or stiffness, especially when you wake up in the morning and you feel like you are the 10 man from the Wizard of Oz or you have, you feel like it's quote unquote your arthritis. It's just that your fluids are not really moving that well and you're basically like stagnant like that. Um, also a very common one is the inability to pinpoint pain in a single place. Like it migrates all over. Okay, hey, uh, today my knee hurts and you treated my knee, but now it's over in my shoulder. And it, it just, it, okay. it migrates all over the place. And you're like, I, the whole thing hurts, man. What do you want me to tell you? And that usually means that there's this, what they call a systemic full body underlying uh, inflammation in the body. And it, it will usually manifest its uh, quote unquote symptoms of discomfort or pain in an area that is where you hold most of your vulnerability. Uh, and that's, that's prior injuries or areas that have been under a lot of stress and duress throughout through the most of your uh, life. So those are probably the, some of the biggest ones that you'll, you'll get. And 